In the sprawling cosmos, where stars are born and die in the blink of a cosmic eye, the Zentari Empire stood as a colossus. This civilization, advanced beyond the wildest dreams of many species, had carved out an empire across the galaxy that was unrivaled in its might and feared for its martial prowess. The Zentaris, with their imposing stature and technologically augmented bodies, were considered the epitome of warfare evolution, their strategies and weapons honed over centuries of unchallenged conquests. Their empire spanned numerous star systems, each a testament to their might. Planets, regardless of their inhabitants' wishes, were assimilated into the Zentari fold, their resources exploited, and populations subjugated or displaced. The Zentari fleet, a formidable armada of ships that blotted out the stars, was the spearhead of their dominion, an instrument of fear and order. At the heart of this empire was the planet Zentar, a world of towering cities and relentless industry, where the air thrummed with the energy of countless machines and the skies were streaked with the contrails of patrolling warships. It was here that the supreme commander, Vraxus, resided overseeing the Empire's expansion with a cold, calculating intellect. Vraxus was a figure of legend, a tactician who had never known defeat, his body augmented by the pinnacle of Zentari technology, making him more machine than organism. His command center, deep within the capital's spire, was a nexus of information, a place where the threads of the Empire's vast reach were woven together under his steely gaze. The Zentari's philosophy was one of strength and order, they believed fervently in the superiority of their way of life, viewing other civilizations as chaotic, weak, or simply resources waiting to be harnessed. This ideology was enforced by the Creed of Zentar, a doctrine that preached the inevitability of their rule over the galaxy, a rule maintained by the unassailable might of their military. However, on the fringe of the Empire, a series of unremarkable scouting reports began to draw attention. They told of a new species, one that had only recently ventured into the cosmos, a species known as humanity. The humans, with their primitive technology and fledgling interstellar presence, seemed like just another footnote in the grand saga of the Zentari conquest. Yet, there was something unusual about these reports. The humans, it seemed, were a curious blend of resilience, ingenuity, and unpredictability. They had already faced minor skirmishes with Zentari outposts, and despite the overwhelming odds, had not only survived but inflicted damage. In the grand halls of the Zentari High Command, these reports sparked a mix of amusement and interest. Some saw the humans as a potential nuisance, while others viewed them as a minor curiosity. But for Vraxus, there was a glimmer of something else, recognition perhaps of a spark he had seen in countless civilizations before they were extinguished by the Zentari juggernaut. As the Zentari Empire turned its gaze toward Earth, their approach was methodical, as it had been with countless other worlds. But unbeknownst to them, this encounter would be unlike any other. The humans, with their untested fleets and unproven warriors, were about to challenge the narrative of invincibility that had surrounded the Zentari for eons. And so, the stage was set for a confrontation that would ripple across the stars, a clash of ideologies, might, and spirit. The Zentari, with their indomitable fleet, advanced, their sights set on a small blue planet in a relatively unremarkable solar system, unaware that this would be the crucible that would test the very foundation of their empire's might. The tranquility of Earth's orbit was abruptly shattered as the Zentari reconnaissance fleet emerged from hyperspace, their arrival marked by the brilliant flare of exotic energy emissions. Humanity, still nascent in its interstellar endeavors, watched in awe and trepidation, as these alien leviathans took position above their world, their intentions shrouded in mystery. On Earth, a flurry of activity unfolded as governments, scientists, and military leaders grappled with the sudden appearance of extraterrestrial life. While the Zentari had been known to humanity through distant whispers and intercepted transmissions, their direct presence ignited a spectrum of reactions, from panic and fear to a cautious optimism. In the Zentari fleet, Commander Zorak, a seasoned veteran of numerous campaigns, observed Earth with a clinical detachment. His mission was clear. Assess the planet's defenses, its strategic value, and determine the feasibility of its integration into the Zentari Empire. Initial scans revealed a civilization on the cusp of technological maturity, intriguing in its diversity but primitive compared to the might of Zentar. 
The first official contact was made when a communication from Commander Zorak was broadcast across Earth's communication networks. In it, Zorak expressed a formal greeting, veiling the Empire's imperialistic intentions with diplomatic language. He spoke of potential cooperation and exchange, all while his scanners probed Earth's defenses and his strategists evaluated the best approach for subjugation. Humanity's response was a mixture of diplomacy and defiance. While some leaders called for a peaceful engagement, others prepared for the possibility of conflict. The United Nations acted as the voice of Earth, sending a reply that welcomed the opportunity for dialogue, but firmly stated humanity's desire for autonomy and mutual respect. Behind the scenes, Earth's militaries mobilized, alliances were forged, and strategies were devised. The planet's best minds worked tirelessly to understand the Zentari technology, deciphering bits of data from the alien transmissions and scouting vessels that had ventured too close to human space. As the Zentari began their descent towards Earth, a series of unexpected skirmishes erupted. Human fighter pilots in their relatively rudimentary spacecraft engaged Zentari scouts with a level of skill and audacity that took the invaders by surprise. Each encounter provided valuable insights into the Zentari's capabilities and weaknesses, information that was rapidly disseminated among Earth's defenses. Commander Zorak, observing the resilience and adaptability of the humans, reported his findings back to Zentar. The recommendation was for a strategic approach, one that would minimize losses and ensure a swift victory. Yet, in the undercurrents of his analysis, there was an unspoken recognition of humanity's potential to be more than just another conquest. As the initial skirmishes gave way to a tense standoff, the people of Earth stood united, their differences momentarily set aside in the face of a common adversary. The world's leaders, bolstered by the support of their citizens and the bravery of their soldiers, prepared a statement that would resonate throughout the galaxy. Earth would not yield quietly. In this moment of unprecedented unity, humanity revealed its true strength, a combination of indomitable will, ingenuity, and a shared determination to defend their home against the looming shadow of the Zentari Empire. The stage was set for a confrontation that would test the mettle of both civilizations, challenging the Zentari's notion of invincibility and humanity's resolve to forge its own destiny among the stars. The standoff between Earth and the Zentari fleet escalated quickly. Initial diplomatic exchanges gave way to a charged silence, the calm before an inevitable storm. Earth's unified front a mosaic of nations once divided by petty squabbles, now stood together against a common foe, their collective resolve solidifying into a tangible force. Commander Zorak, underestimating the strategic capabilities of humanity, initiated the first major assault, confident in the Zentari Empire's technological superiority. The skies above Earth darkened with the shadows of Zentari warships, their advanced weaponry primed for a swift subjugation. However, the humans, having analyzed the skirmish's data, were prepared to exploit every gleaned insight into Zentari tactics. In a bold and unexpected move, Earth's defenses launched a preemptive strike. Utilizing satellite-based weapon systems, retrofitted with alien technology salvaged from previous encounters, they delivered a significant blow to the Zentari vanguard. The element of surprise, coupled with human ingenuity, leveled the playing field, at least momentarily. The Zentaris, though taken aback, quickly regrouped, their response a merciless barrage that tested the very limits of Earth's defenses. Cities braced for impact, shelters filled to capacity, and the world watched in a mix of fear and defiance as the battle for their planet raged above. In space, human pilots executed guerrilla tactics, leveraging their intimate knowledge of Earth's orbital dynamics. They darted through debris fields and maneuvered around satellites, turning these into advantages against the more cumbersome Zentari ships. Each engagement, broadcasted live to the planet below, became a testament to human bravery and a source of collective hope. On the ground, the conflict inspired unprecedented cooperation. Scientists, engineers, and strategists from around the globe pooled their expertise, developing new technologies and refining existing ones at a breakneck pace. Every citizen contributed whether by working in factories to support the war effort, offering their skills for the greater good, or simply holding on to hope in a time of cosmic peril. Amidst the chaos, a group of elite pilots and engineers embarked on a daring mission. 
Their objective was to infiltrate a Zentari cruiser and capture its command module, a feat that, if successful, would provide invaluable insights into the enemy's network. Led by Captain Elena Mirov, a pilot revered for her unmatched skills and unyielding courage, the team launched their assault under the cover of a fierce battle. The mission was fraught with danger, but the team's determination was a force unto itself. Aboard the Zentari cruiser, they encountered resistance far more formidable than anticipated, yet they pressed forward, driven by the weight of their mission's importance. Back on Earth, the outcome of this audacious endeavor was awaited with bated breath. The success of Captain Mirov and her team could tip the scales in humanity's favor, providing a glimmer of hope in the darkest of times. As the battle for Earth's future intensified, the conflict became more than a fight for survival. It evolved into a crucible in which the very essence of humanity was tested. United in purpose, the people of Earth demonstrated that their spirit, resourcefulness, and resolve were forces just as potent as the mightiest of armadas, challenging the once unquestionable supremacy of the Zentari Empire. The Zentari, underestimating the resolve and ingenuity of humanity, initiated their full-scale invasion, confident in their superiority and expecting swift capitulation. However, Earth's defenders, unified in purpose and spirit, were ready to challenge the narrative of Zentari invincibility. The invasion began with a massive orbital assault. Zentari warships, armed with advanced weaponry, launched a barrage aimed at strategic military and communication centers across the globe. The intention was clear, cripple humanity's ability to coordinate a defense and sow chaos. However, Earth's forces, having prepared for such an eventuality, deployed countermeasures. Satellite defense networks, a result of rapid technological advancement spurred by the Zentari threat, intercepted many of the incoming projectiles. Meanwhile, ground-based anti-spacecraft installations returned fire, demonstrating Earth's resilience and determination. In space, human pilots and advanced fighter craft, the product of reverse-engineered Zentari technology and human innovation, engaged the enemy. These skirmishes, while daunting, showcased humanity's adaptability. Human pilots used unconventional tactics, leveraging their knowledge of Earth's orbital space to create tactical advantages. On the ground, the invasion forces met fierce resistance, cities became fortresses, and civilians, supported by military personnel, mounted a determined defense. Urban warfare, unpredictable and chaotic, proved to be a challenge for the Zentari, whose experience in conquest had ill-prepared them for the ferocity and ingenuity of human resistance. One pivotal moment came when a group of human commandos, utilizing stealth technology, infiltrated a landed Zentari cruiser. Their mission, to disable the ship and capture its technology. The operation, fraught with danger, highlighted the bravery and skill of Earth's soldiers. The successful mission provided not just a morale boost, but also valuable intelligence on Zentari technology. As the conflict progressed, the Zentari found themselves bogged down in a quagmire. Each victory came at a higher cost, and the expected quick triumph turned into a protracted struggle. Earth's defenders, fueled by a fierce desire to protect their home, adapted rapidly to the alien tactics and technology. Commander Zorak, witnessing the unexpected resilience and tactical acumen of humanity, realized that the Zentari had underestimated their foes. The Earth, with its diverse and united population, was not just another world to be conquered, but a formidable adversary capable of challenging the might of the Zentari Empire. The turning point came when human forces, leveraging the stolen technology and intelligence from the commandeered cruiser, launched a coordinated counteroffensive. Striking at key Zentari positions in orbit and on the ground, they aimed to break the siege and shift the balance of power. The ensuing battles were intense and brutal, with significant losses on both sides. But the tide was turning. Earth's forces, driven by a combination of desperation, innovation, and an unbreakable will to survive, began to push the Zentari back. As the Zentari fleet retreated, battered and diminished, the people of Earth realized that they had achieved the impossible. They had faced a supposedly invincible foe and emerged victorious. The victory was not just a testament to human military prowess, but to the spirit of a species united against a common enemy. In the aftermath, Earth began to rebuild, its people forever changed by the conflict. The unity forged in the crucible of war endured, sparking a new era of cooperation and innovation. 
Humanity, having defended its place in the cosmos, looked to the stars not just as a frontier, but as a vast shared expanse waiting to be explored in partnership with other civilizations. The Zentari, their aura of invincibility shattered, retreated to their space, forced to reconsider their place in a galaxy where the spirit and ingenuity of a united species could defy the odds and turn back the tide of conquest. The war had ended, but its legacy would echo through the ages, a reminder of the resilience and indomitable spirit of humanity.